Hi, I'm Lady Esther here, and welcome back to my channel. My channel is about beauty, skincare, and deep thoughts. Today, I'm going to be showing you some new Shantikai makeup. If you're interested in this today, please stick around. Hi, everybody. I hope you're doing well. So today, I'm going to talk about the Shantikai Butterfly Palette, and it only comes in one color, and the lip cheek in, let's forget, Peach Blossom. So here we go. So the package is really nice and it's a pretty light green, but it's very hard to read if I try to show it to you like I did earlier. Okay, here we go. So the Butterfly Quartet first comes with this little pamphlet on the Butterfly Quartet. Let's see what it says. Um, so it talks about the butterflies and how pollinators contribute to one in three bites of our foods on our plates. So this goes to support the Xerxes Society and the butterflies. Oh, here's another picture. That's pretty. I like that. So here's the packaging of the butterfly. Quartet. And then there's the back, which I have it upside down. So then it has the little insert with the numbers one, two, three, four. They don't have names for the shades. But let me get really close here. I was hoping I could make it focus. Hmm. This is one, two, three, four lipstick in this beautiful green, well to me it looks green, green case with a butterfly on it. And it has the magnetic top. Here's the shade. I think I'm going to go in with number one in my crease. It's very, um, like soft. Gosh, I can't even describe this color. I'll have to swatch them. But yes, it's very, these are very soft. I mean, soft, they're soft as in texture, but the colors are pretty soft. So maybe I would want to go in with the dark one, but let me just... Actually, and they also said they can be wet, worn. Wet for more. Dramatic look. So, I'm going to like bring it up a little bit more. Oh, and I'm using, I think, the Chikahoto GS, GSN 10, I think it is. Let me look. I should know this by now. Okay. Yes, it's the GSN 10. Okay, I like that. That looks good. And what else am I going to do? I want to use the green and the pink. So I'm going to take this one, the, what is it, the Worker Pro. And actually, oh, there's so many colors, how can I use them all? I guess I'll use this one. This looks more like a pr 
purplish color. I'm going to use this on the outer V. Ooh, look at that. This is really more of my style of a palette. Oh, it is, it is like a purpley color. I really like it. I think this would be good um, as eyeliner underneath. I'm going to use it on the bottom. I don't know how if I can incorporate both. I feel like I have to choose between the, the green and the pink. But I'm going to just look at the pink. Oh, it's really pretty. Actually, it's very light. I think I'm going to, I might put it up there. So I'm going to go back with this um, GSN and I'm going to put the pink ish color on top there. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'll be a little bit more dramatic. I really like the, the colors of this palette because they they look happy to me. I don't know. They're very springy and I don't know. I'm ready for spring. What about you? I feel like I need to put some more here. Well, the good thing is because they're so light, I mean, you don't have to worry about putting too much on your eyes. Okay, I like that. And so I'm going to use the green <clears throat> with my finger. Let's see if you can see this. See how pretty that is? Anyway. I don't, I think that's a trio chrome. I'm not sure. It's definitely a duo chrome. It might be a trio chrome. So. Pretty much, I think this is what all I'm going to do. Oh, actually, I'm going to put some on the bottom. And then I'm going to, you know, I think I'll just do my mascara off camera. But I'm going to get a pencil brush here, the Pencil Pro Sony G, and I'm going to use the dark, which is number, the purplish color, which is number four. I'm going to use it underneath. Okay, that's nice. It's nice and and soft and would be interesting to see how it looks when it's wet, but it's very very easy, you know. I'd say very user friendly. Okay, I'm back. So I'll just tell you what I did. I added more powder because it looked a little bit shiny. So I'll put the all the items in the box below and pretty much I think I'm using all Chantecaille pr 
products except for my eyebrows or the Tom Ford fiber eyebrow, fiber eyebrow gel. So I use the Chantecaille, I think it's faux seals. It's the more pricier one with um, peptides in it. And as you can see, um, it does a really good job of defining and lengthening your lashes. So I really like that. So now I'm going to, oh wait, I'm going to tell you what I had on my face. I'm using just the regular Future Skin, Chantecaille Future Skin Foundation. I'm using this, I don't know if this was a limited edition. It was the Cool Palette and, was that a whale? Uh, oh, it just fell out. Look at, wow, it just fell out right now. The, um, highlighter. It's pretty, huh? It's like, I could just glue it back in there. That's the first time that's happened to me. But, um, so this is the cool, there was a warm, like, the, the warm one was more peachy. Anyway, this is what I used on my cheeks and for the highlight today. So, wow, now I have to fix that. So I just wanted to show you that, and I'm going to do the lip product. I'm not going... I just have um, Dior... I always forget the names of all the products. The It's like the lip enhancer. It's just the like clear one. So anyway, I'm just going to put this on top of that. It's a very nice neutral. It's a peach. And the, the other thing I was going to say is I prefer the lip chic formula, which is what this is, to the lip veil because the lip veil isn't is not like glossy, shiny, moisturize as moisturizing. I I felt like the lip veil was a little bit more mattifying. Um, this one just, this formula just feels a lot better. So there's three different, there's other, three, two other colors on this. So maybe I can just put a picture over there of that. So I'm happy that I, I was debating on the pink, pinkier color, the lighter pinkier color, but I'm happy I got this peach color because it's very... It's very natural because I'm like really into, sometimes I don't want to make my lips more um, darker, or, like pinker or like more pinker. I want them to be actually more um, just neutral. I'm, I don't know if I'm, <laughs> I'm not doing a good job communicating today. So there we go. And that's pretty much the look. I'll see if I can just calm my eyes down so you can see. I'll just put a little bit more right here. Ooh, okay, I'm going to do a little bit more. So you can just really build that up. And So, like, this isn't really normally what I would wear, but, wow, when you put the purple next to the green, it's just, it really is like a butterfly wing. It's amazing. Um, I was going to actually get, take that brush again and put a little bit more on the corner, on the outer corner. Look at that. 
That's really pretty. I guess I just tend to go more light-handed. I have so many <laughs> stray hairs. Anyway, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video, please click the like button. Please click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. Be sure and hit the bell button to be reminded of new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody!